chapter 4. But it greatly displeased Jonah, and he was grieved. And he prayed to Yahuwah, and he said, Please, Yahuwah, was this not what I said while I was in my own land? This is why I went ahead and fled to Tarshish, for I know that you are an El, showing favor and compassionate, patient and of great kindness, and relenting from doing evil. And now, O Yahuwah, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And Yahuwah said, Are you right to be displeased? Then Yonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city and made himself a shelter there and sat under it in the shade to see what would become of the city. And Yahuwah Elohim appointed a plant and made it come up over Yonah to be a shade for his head to deliver him from his discomfort. And Yonah greatly rejoiced over the plant. But as morning dawned the next day, Elohim appointed a worm which attacked the plant so that it withered. And it came to be when the sun came up that Elohim appointed a scorching east wind and the sun smote on Yonah's head so that he grew faint and asked for his life to die and said, It is better for me to die than to live. And Elohim said to Yonah, Have you rightly become displeased over the plant? And he said, I have rightly become displeased even to death. And Yahuwah said, You felt sorry for the plant for which you have not labored, nor made it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. And should I not pardon Nineveh, that great city, in which are more than 120,000 beings who have not known their right hand from their left, and much cattle? 